Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how I made this super awesome bat box with all of the joinery cut on the Stepcraft M1000 CNC machine. Everything fit together super well and I love how it turned out. We do have the plans available for this on our website, so definitely check those out there if you want to make it for yourself. Without further ado, let me show you how I made it. It's time to get started on a new project, making a bat box using the Stepcraft M1000 CNC machine. We do have plans available for this on our website, so definitely check those out there if you're interested in making this for yourself. I'm using the 46202-K quarter inch down cut bit to go through here and remove most of the material out of the dados that we'll later use to inset a different panel. I'll then drop that off and pick up the 46225-K one eighth inch down cut bit. And we're just gonna use that to go through and make the corners of those dados. And since we're using solid cedar for this, we'll be able to insert those panels without having to round over any of the edges. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and go ahead and hit that bell so that you'll be notified on all of the new videos when they're released. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Tools Today. Use that to mark out some screw locations that we'll drill through later on. And then we'll use the same bit to go through and add all of the grips for where the bats are going to be able to enter. So this will house a medium sized colony of bats and it'll definitely be really nice for our area as we definitely need uh, some control for insects that come out at night, and these will definitely help out with that. So with that, the first panel is done, and I'll put down another piece of wood to use for the back panel. I wanted to show you how the auto tool changer works. So first we need to go through and set the offsets. So what it's doing here is it's going through and measuring the length of each bit, and basically calculating the difference between them. So we'll switch out back to the first bit here, then we'll take that up and we'll measure that off of the material. So you've set our Z zero position. Now that it knows where the material is, it knows the difference between the two. So we're able to switch back and forth between the tools without issue. So it can go automatically, go pick up the next bit and then continue on cutting. The auto tool changer is one of those things that will save a ton of time anytime that you're making stuff on the CNC. And you can switch out for efficiency uh, not based on how many tool changes that you need to do. And it's definitely a game changer when it comes to the CNC. So with that, the back panel is done. And then we'll just quickly go through and do the same thing on the side panel. Just wanted to show you in a single shot what that looks like using the auto tool changer to cut everything out. There were several other panels that we did cut, but we go over those in the instructions, but didn't feel the need to show those here. So we'll get that unclamped from the CNC, and then we'll use the multi-tool to go through and cut the tabs for all of the pieces. We'll get those taken over to the router table and use the 47116 half inch diameter three flute flush trim bit. And we're just gonna use this to flush up those tabs to the surface of the wood. So now that that is all done, we'll move over to the saw stop table saw and get that set to 45 degrees. Then we'll just cut a 45 on three of the panels. So we'll do that on the front panel, the middle panel and the top panel. And the instructions do go over all of this and how everything needs to be cut and where you need to cut everything to make things easier for you. But basically this is just going to match the angle of the sides and allow for easier assembly and make sure that everything goes together. Then where we pre-drilled those holes, we'll go through and drill all the way through. We just mark them on the CNC as it's easier to just drill through those. We have all of the pieces now ready to go so we can begin assembly. We'll insert in the side panels into the back panel, flip it over and pre-drill all of the holes. We'll then get everything all screwed down using some one and a quarter inch screws. The way that this is designed out, everything uses dados to hold it all in place and then the screws just hold it. So I use a few extra just to ensure that everything stays together nicely. We'll then get the middle panel all in inserted up to the top of the side panel so that it's nice and flush. That's where we cut the 45 earlier. And then same thing with the front panel, getting everything all nicely seated in there. And so with the plans here, we don't have any glue or anything like that in these pockets. We're just using these screws to hold everything together. That way we don't introduce any new smells into the bat box, which will further delay any bats entering the box. I'll then pre-drill and screw into the middle panel from the side panel. As you can see, the back panel is a bit warped, so it, the top panel does not fit flush on there. So I'll just manually sand that back to get it to fit a little bit nicer. But it's not going to matter too much as we are going to add some silicone later on after everything's fully done. Then we'll just get everything measured out and get the top panel all screwed into place. And with that, this is all done. Went through and added some silicone along the top panel edges to ensure that the heat stays in as the bats do like that heat during the day. So now this is all done and we can take it out to the woods and get everything all hung up. I absolutely love the way that this project turned out and can't wait to see bats in there. Hopefully we should have some by next spring and I uh, can't wait to see the bats using this house. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this project. Definitely check out those plans if you're interested in making it yourself. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe right over here. And for more great videos, click right over here.